Good evening, teacher. William, good evening. How are you? Uh, that's perfect. I am how excellent are they? Sorry? <clears throat> I had an excellent day. Oh, that's just great. That's just great. Very perfect for me. Excellent. Glad to hear that. Yes, we had a char a lunch with co worker. Oh, really? Yes, today. That was a company celebration? That's for, how do you say epoch, teacher? Season. Beautiful season. season to celebrate. Well, yeah, it is. It is a nice season to celebrate. That's excellent. So you're ready for tonight's class? Always. Here, here, ready for study English. Okay, that's good, that's good. That's the best attitude, my friend. And yeah. today is going to be a very good, interesting class, you know? Yes, I hear enjoying, different are enjoying. Yes, enjoy. In, in this moment, enjoy the weather. Weather is free, está bastante helado. It's cold. The weather is cold, yes. Thank you. Yeah, a little bit. It is a little bit. Well, no, here it. I actually I just turned on my fan. This day I I too bad I had to do. I had. This day I had uh, one uh, tree, unos árboles. Sembrando árboles, how do you say? Oh, really, planting trees. <clears throat> this day, este, I was planting some trees. I was planting some trees. Estuve sembrando unos arbolitos. Oh, that's nice. Excellent. That's good. Yes. That's something good to do. And, and, like, and two. Yes. Sorry. Okay. <clears throat> and two walking with my pegs. Oh, that's nice. Well, my friend, ready to class, right? Welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chuck. Okay, let's see who else is around. Marta, hello, Marta, how are you? Hi, teacher, good evening. Good evening, how are you? Not so bad, teacher. Oh, you are the angel face one, you said, right? Yes, obviously, obviously. <laughs> okay, no comments, I cannot comment about that. I got no idea about it. <laughs> it's true, it's true. <laughs> you know, Marta, I just used an expression that uh, grammatically is not correct, you know, but it's kind of a, let's see. Tell me. Hmm. Let me see. This expression. Actually, grammatically, it's not correct. Oh. Ain't got no idea about it. Ain't, ain't got. Ain't. That would be like, I don't have any idea related to it. That would be the correct expression. Okay. But uh, when people is speaking, I mean. Use it. Yeah, some people use it. It's not correct. It's not correct. So don't get that bad habit from me, please. Okay. Because that's a bad habit I got. It's a modicum. Hey, look, Nicolas is driving. Watch out, Nicolas. Watch the street. Watch the street. Be careful. Yeah, Good evening, careful. teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. We're going to talk later, Nicolas. Be careful. Watch out. Be safe. Okay, so 
Marta, how was your day? How's everything? Tell me. Well, my day was a normal day, teacher. You know, um, I have a lot of work, but uh, everything was okay. I finished my work around the 6 p.m. So it, it, it's fine. Okay, that's cool. What about that's you? Cool, so. Me, man, today I had a long day. I was driving all around San Salvador, downtown San Salvador, almost all day long. It was I, terrible. I yes, this day is uh, horrible. Yeah, the only good thing is that my coworkers, they take me out for lunch. Oh. Well, actually- they what, what do the, you eat? The pork. Delicious. Yeah. Actually, they took uh, two of us for lunch, uh, my co worker and me, because my birthday is Friday, his is Saturday. Oh, it's, it's time to the celebration teacher. Well, Saturday, in a way, it was cool. Nice. Yeah, it was cool. It was cool, but still, man, driving San Salvador, oh, terrible, 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 terrible. I'm so That's, sorry, teacher. Yeah, and the worst thing is that tomorrow I'm going back to San Salvador. And Friday again. So it's going oh to be my uh, God. hideous. Yeah, I'm so sorry, but... Uh, that's the way it goes. Marta, yeah. pleasure to have you here in class. Welcome. You're welcome, teacher. Let's see who else is around. Jose Wilfredo, hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. So far, so good. Just I have one problem because I don't know why I can sync my Bluetooth devices uh, with my computer. And I was checking uh, some updates uh, of my Bluetooth device on the system, but so far so good. Yeah, you know, I can give you the advice I gave with Freddy yesterday. Get a hammer, man, and start smacking that thing. <laughs> that takes <It's> everything. <laughs> You see, Erwin says that he's up for it. You know, you can just hit it a little bit. Perhaps it can work. <laughs> yeah, maybe work like that. But thanks for asking, teacher. And what about you? I heard that you uh, drive through San Salvador. Oh yeah, I went driving downtown San Salvador. <laughs> I was driving down was to San Salvador. Well, the thing is this, that I started driving today at around 6.30 a.m. I left my home. I went to San Salvador. Then I had to move around from one place to another one. And I came back home around 5 p.m. Yeah, wow. You are so it wasn't, it was not that traffic was bad, but it was that I was driving too long, man. My back hurts. Yeah, I know, teacher. I know what that's mean. Well, do you drive with air condition? Yeah. Okay. That's but perfect. Still, man. Still, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's because not... when, when you drive without air condition, that's all. Oh, it's beautiful. That's just yeah. beautiful. Yeah, that's really bad. But, well, you know a lot of um, shortcuts. Yeah, actually, you know, I, I, I grew up walking all around San Salvador and then driving all around San Salvador. So I do know a lot, but nowadays, I mean, uh, the way traffic All the is, trees are full. yeah, everywhere, everywhere. I mean, the problem is that the main, the main ways out and in of San Salvador are still the same. Yeah, and they are right. packed. 
they are bad in completely. Also in those days, uh, I don't know why, but the the drivers uh, are something like crazy because maybe they they are not focused on the street. Yeah, and some people are a lot of, are kind of aggressive, you know, while driving. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So you need to drive carefully. Yeah. Well, my friend, welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Francisco Eduardo. Let's see. Hello, teacher. Hello, Francisco. So you are at work right now or you are home? I don't remember what was your schedule. <laughs> uh, in, in this moment, in my home, teacher, but uh, uh, I, today I, I I will work. Ooh. Night shift. Night shift, teacher. Okay. The best, best shift. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Particularly because tomorrow I need you to work in the platform, Francisco. I do need yeah. you to. Yes. Uh, uh, yesterday and today, it was a very busy day. But uh, I think uh, in the shift, is probably is not not much busy and it's oh, possible you will have, have some time. time. Yes, I, it's possible I have time to working in the platform teacher. Oh, that would be awesome. Oh, I hope that. Yeah, I I have always wondered which shift is harder, day shift or night shift. Mm, the afternoon shift is it the the, the most the hardest. Uh, Yes, the most hardest teacher. The hardest. Yeah. Hard, hardest. Yeah, let me text it for you, my friend. Okay. You say it like this. The hardest. Hardest. Ah, oh, okay, teacher. Uh, in the in the week is the afternoon shift, but in the weekend is the morning. Okay. On weekends, morning. on weekends, on weekends, on weekends, on weekends, on weekends, the morning shift is is harder, hardest. Oh really? Yes. It is probably uh, because uh, 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 how do you say? Se junta todo el 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 flujo, teacher. Join. Okay, yeah, all the actually you get like a backlog of vehicles there. Yeah, but that's interesting. That's interesting that what you're telling me because I could have thought that morning shift will be busier, but you're telling me that night shift. Yes, teacher. Usually the the, the afternoon. Night... I'm sorry. Yes. Uh... Usually the night shift is is more it's more quiet. This it's is correct word. Quieter. It's quieter. Quiet. Yeah, well, interesting. So in your case, which one do you prefer? Morning, afternoon, or night? Uh, for me it's whether afternoon in chief. I'm sorry, afternoon in night okay. because uh, I don't have uh, a wake up very early. <laughs> is this is just uh, the uh, teacher? How do you say is is the only motive? Yeah, that's the only reason. Oh, yeah. Okay, teacher, that's is the only reason. <laughs> Okay, okay. Well, that's interesting. Welcome to the class. Thank you very much sure. for sharing with us. Okay, guys, before I continue, please let me get the attendance. Let's see, Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Claudia Lizette Ramos Barrientos. 
Present. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Lucero Abigail Rodríguez López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Anabelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez. Present. Thank you. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Thank you, Wilfredo. Present teacher. And Shanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Thank you, Mr. Osorio. I'm missing teacher. Oh, I say Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Say present, please. Present. Thank you, Fernando. <laughs> you were right. You were right. Uh, my bad. My bad. Oh, who says connection problems, but he's back here. That's great. Let's see. Just give me a second, guys. I just need to record something. Okay, okay. Well, let's see, let's see. Perfect. Now, let's see, I got some time for talking, but, you know, actually, uh, I'm just going to have a share conversations with some of you, then I will send you to the groups because it's even more productive when you are talking among yourselves. You get to practice more. But let me please greet some of you. Let's see who else is around. Ambar, hello, Ambar, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Thank, thanks for asking. What about you? I'm just great. Just great. So tell me, what's new? How's the sales? You made the tree you are missing? Yes, I today I'm missing one. one police. Just one? Oh my gosh, just one. that's cool. That's cool. So your goal is to make them tomorrow? I hope, or I hope tomorrow I'll accomplish my goal. Excellent, that's great. Yes, thank you. <laughs> that's, great. that's great, yeah, because I mean, it's always good to be on time. And besides, they told you that this month was going to be a little bit difficult, right? Yes, but I hope tomorrow I accomplish my goal because I have one client to attend. Okay, that's nice. Excellent, excellent. So glad to hear it, Amber, and welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Uh -huh. Roxana, hello, Roxana, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening. I just fine, thank you. Just fine, but I hear your voice slightly different. I don't know why, maybe uh, because I was sleeping 10 minutes ah, ago. That's why, you see, you see. Yeah, this day was very busy. And after working, just um, taking my lunch because I didn't, uh, I didn't have time. And after that, just resting, you know. 
Okay. Life is What? hard. <laughs> <laughs> Life's hard. Says yes. the one who's taking a nap. <laughs> yes. Okay, cool. Cool. That's nice. Well, Roxana, welcome to the class. Thank you very much for sharing with us. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, Ana Claudia, where are you, Ana Claudia? Hello, teacher, I'm here. Uh, good evening. Uh, good evening. <laughs> I was gonna tell you off a few minutes ago. No, no, but did you hear my, when I say present? Yes, no, but I was gonna tell you off a few minutes ago because I, we were missing you yesterday. Oh, yes, thank you, teacher. <laughs> yes, sorry, yesterday I couldn't connect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, tell me, how was it? How's everything? Everything is fine. Just a little tired because of many multiple things to do. Uh, some air, personal errands. Errands is the word, right? Errands. 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 Okay. Person. Tengo que decir personal errands, or ya se sabe que es errands. You you just say some errands. Ah, okay. I have. Or you some can say errands. I was I was running some errands. Ah, okay. So I was running some errands today, but I uh, after that everything is okay. Ready to complete the, uh, I the platform <laughs> because I'm just missing the uh, yesterday exercise, and well, hoping to see, uh, to complete everything with a good grade. <laughs> That's and working to, mm -hmm, and working to uh, achieve my goal. I'm still working because I have a limit date, so I'm still missing some cells. But I'm pretty sure that I will be. <laughs> uh, I have a deadline. I remember a deadline. Ah, okay. I have a deadline. My personal deadline, not for the company, but um, I'm pretty sure I I will accomplish my my revenue. You can goal. say I will make it on time. I will make it on time. I'm pretty sure I will make it on time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's hope everything goes according to the plan. Thank you, teacher. Yes, I hope that. From Welcome to the way. class. Thank you, teacher. Claudia Ramos. Hello, Claudia. Hello, teacher. Okay, Claudia, tell me about your hard, hard life of waking up late, going to swim to the lake. Please tell us about that suffering you are undergoing. Okay, teacher. Um, I don't have time for swim to the lake, teacher. Why not? What were you doing? I have, I make, a decoration or uh -huh. two events. and I was um, doing paper flower okay. uh, from 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. What, what's the event going to be? It's going to be a party, a wedding, a, a uh, birthday party. No, a uh, wedding in... Oh, black flowers, remember, black flowers, please. <laughs> I'm doing black flowers. And I have other events. How do you say children Christmas? It's perfect, it's perfect. What do you mean? Como, como una fiesta de Navidad para niños. Oh, really? Uh, children's Christmas party. She's children's Christmas. Okay. No, in this case, it's children's apostrophe children. S okay. because you are, you are saying apostasy. Okay. Okay. Like this, children's, because you are saying children's Christmas party. Okay. Okay. Um, on Saturday, I have a children's Christmas party. Okay, that's cool. So you were busy today? Yes. Uh, 
all week. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Claudia, welcome to the class. Thank you for sharing with us. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Maria Alejandra, hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm just fine. Just fine. Tell me, are you ready for being a man tomorrow on the street? Yes. I think that tomorrow have a lot of traffic, but I try to do in um, fast. I try to do my errands very fast. <laughs> and okay. In all the time, I still dangerous in the street. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I, I'll be with my eyes wide open. <laughs> Yes, it's a good idea, teacher. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's nice. So tell me, how's everything? How was your day? Mm, it's good, teacher. I have a lot of work. I finish to work maybe at 7.30. <laughs> but... I think that is the season. I don't know, but I hope to be the, the, I don't know, demanding of the cases uh, to slowly in January. A little bit, but I have a, a lot of days when, when I have a lot of days and I have a lot of work and I understand that only the reason is the season. <laughs> okay, that's, good. that's good. But it's good for the company, but it's very tired because all the sailors um, closing all the cases in the night and only at have night. at night and only have two person and it's more difficult because Oh, uh -huh, you are complaining. I will tell Amber you are complaining about the sellers. <laughs> no, Amber today worked uh, very early. I see a case and <laughs> I see in the morning. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. Maria Alejandra, thank you very much. A pleasure to have you here. You're welcome, teacher. Okay, let's see, let's see. Do I still have time? Yeah, I still got a couple of minutes. Let's see who else. Fernando, hello, Fernando, how are you? Hi, teacher, good evening. I'm fine, thank you. Tell me, how's everything? Um, everything, everything was good. Normal, a normal day. Very busy day, but it's normal. Oh, really? What time did you finish working or are you still at it? Uh, I don't finish yet. Ooh, but I haven't. I haven't, I haven't finished yet. Okay, I haven't finished yet, but uh, an hour ago, I, I sent that from my desk because I need some press and I need to take the class. Okay. Yeah, you know, I mean, look, sometimes, um, sometimes work uh, jobs are very demanding, but remember, you need to take some time for the, on, on your own. Yeah. For yourself, because otherwise, I mean, stress, oh, stress ends. And uh, let me see. And catching up with you. And catching up with you. That's it. What does it mean? And oh. let me try to explain it. And catching up. That in the end, 
stress is going to affect you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So stress ends catching up with you. Okay. okay. It, it means that in the end, so much stress, uh, it's going to be bad for you. Um, okay, teacher. Yeah, yeah I mean, um, yeah, it's important to, to provide for the family because that's the main goal, right? Right. But it's also important to be able to continue providing for the family. <laughs> yes, I you know. know what I mean. Yeah, yes, sure, I know that. So, well, some months we have are to... more difficult than others, right? Yes, yeah. yes. And, and we some to... weeks are crazy. Yeah. Yeah, especially this this season for for us is very very hard. Yeah, um, I can imagine. I can imagine. Yeah. To, today I I will see the news, but then tomorrow I'm going to to go to the office, and that is very hard for me, more than than work from home because the the yeah. the, the trip. So. I have to wake yeah. up very early and I come back home very late. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I mean, I understand you. Actually, in my case, the hardest month is November. November for me is very, very stressful. Okay. But December is, is less stressful. Actually, December is... I mean, uh, as I was telling your classmates the other day, I get vacation. I my vacation started December the first, and I'm going back to work until January the tenth. Okay. After this month, you you have vacation. I'm sorry. After yeah, this month. Yeah, I, I mean, from my year. from my regular job. From the more demanding job that I have, I mean, the thing vacation, is this: no. I got, I work for the government. I work okay. for Insafort. Uh, I work for a for a city hall. I work for uh, two different families, I could say, because I teach some guys private class also. So my the more demanding job I have is the, the one with the government. And with the government, I started vacation January, uh, I mean December the first, and my I will go back to work until January the 10th. Okay. Mom's so on vacation. <laughs> in in theory, I'm on vacation right now. Uh, and in theory, I still got one, two, three, three and a half weeks of vacation. Okay. And with, with Insafor, this is your last week. With Insafor, this is my last week. But with Insafor, we don't know because sometimes we get back to work in, uh, in the middle of January or the last week of January. Well, okay. But okay. it depends. It depends on many aspects, like uh, if you guys send your paperwork on time and stuff like that. This this so, this time we we had a, a long break. Yeah, this is your long break because you are going to have like three weeks, I guess, some somewhere around. Yeah, I need this break. No, but I will actually I will ask the people from the company not to not to close the group so I can keep on um, sending you information, doing some activities with you so you can keep on practicing a little bit. Yeah, that's important for us. Yeah, I will ask the people if they can allow me to to have the group open so we can keep on sharing some info, you know, practicing talking. That would be great. Okay, okay, I will. But I will see, be pending. Okay. okay, yeah, sure. Thank you, Fernando, and welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher.
Okay, guys. Now, 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 now. Let's see. Give me just a second. Okay. Questions for you to discuss in the group. Well, you know, nowadays, the, let me give, lay down the, the, the context for you. Nowadays, the, the social situation we live in is kind of um, chaotic, you know? Uh, there's a lot of stress living in the cities and, but also uh, there's more job opportunities and there's always been like a, families tend to, to, to evaluate if they need to move to a city and some people, if they would love to go back to living in the countryside. Uh, and that's the question you are going to discuss. Which do you prefer, living in or would you prefer it? Yes, Erwin, and I get you, I got you, no problem, okay? Which do you prefer, living in the countryside or the city? Or if some of you have never lived in the countryside, the question would be for you, which would you prefer, living in the countryside or the city? So that question is open for discussion. Let me create some groups so you can go and participate, guys. So let's see, groups are created, please jump in. And let's discuss that question. I don't have. Is there, what is the question? Could sure. you repeat the question? Yeah, sure. Please. Let me, the question is this one. Which do you prefer, living in the countryside or the city? In the countryside or the city? Uh, there are some benefits. I think okay. Hi, teacher. <laughs> mm -hmm. As usual, I need you speaking in English. <laughs> I, cannot let, I cannot let you lose, girls. <laughs> well, um, to be honest, in my case, yes. To me, to, to be honest, in my case, I prefer live in a city because uh, I think that it's important uh, have a connection with um, everything, with internet, with the malls, with everything. Maybe I prefer just spend a little time in a, um, in a cave in the countryside, but just a weekend, but in the rest of the time of the week, I prefer city. You prefer to live in the city? Mm. Yes. 
Well, you know, in my case, actually, I would love living in the countryside because, I mean, nowadays uh, uh, you can get internet. I mean, if you own a car, you can move fast. And if you just buy everything you need and stock up, cool. Yeah, but uh, this is when you have everything to close. But if you need to travel a lot of time to get, uh, I don't know, I don't know, food or whatever. No, so that's I prefer, why. I prefer that's why. Uh, look, like uh, uh, I remember I met uh, once I was like last year. Now, this year I went to, to, to visit a family. Well, actually, just a mother and her sister. They live in a, they live in a gated community in San Jose Villanueva. Uh, well, everything is far for them. Okay. And, and they got a nice house, a beautiful house. Uh, well, the good thing is that it's safe because it's gated. And they tell me, they, they go to the supermarket and they buy, they stock like for two months. Okay. They store, yeah. they store food like up for two months. And okay. they just go, they just need to go to the supermarket for little things. I mean, perishable, perishable like uh, every fortnight. So, and they're cool. I mean, they tell me, well, sometimes we don't go out like in a whole week. Yeah. That if they have the, the money to spend to, to, to have a stock, it's okay. I have a friend that uh, that he, she lives in Komasawa, close to the Peñon. There is a, a big land and they are uh, building the, the, the house and the same as your uh, family. Friends, do you say? Yeah, friends. Uh, friends, uh, they have a big freezer, 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 yeah. freezer. and they have a lot of uh, food in it. And the other side, they have a um, little farm with a chicken or whatever. I don't know. They have a um, Vegetable, ellos siembran. Yeah, they plant. Yeah, because they have uh, a lot of uh, space. But uh, I think that you need to spend a lot of time because you need to work in the in that. So maybe you just live there and you don't need to travel to work to another place maybe it's, it's an option because the person can live if work on that but when yeah. you are when you when you have a job in the city but you live over in the countryside and the countryside is it's difficult because uh, my my friends, she she's working in the in the city, but she needs to travel to her house, and she need in the in the weekend she needs to work in with her par parents in the land because. I don't know, they, they have a lot of baseball uh, or I don't know, sé, todas esas cosas. Entonces, I think that you need to spend a lot of time on that. And I just like 
uh, I don't know, maybe just for a little time, spend uh, time in resting or something like that. But live in there, I think it's complex. Yes, it needs I could, to maybe. stay there and well, spend time in that. Well, if you want to plan your own stuff, yeah, sure. Yeah. But it also depends on what you want to plant. Because, I mean, you can plant like cucumbers in your, in your patio. Yeah. And that's yeah. easy. That's easy cheesy. Yeah, I mean, but uh, in my friend's case, she is single and she has, she's uh, around 30 years old because all the time she's working with her parents and she doesn't, ta doesn't have time to her, herself. For herself. For health, herself. So yeah, it's but as I tell you. It's, as I tell you, in that case, is because they 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 make out a living out of the land. Yeah. But I mean, like, uh, I have some friends, you know, uh, mm -hmm. they built, they have some land, they built up their house, and they live like uh, fifteen minutes from my house. It's in the countryside, completely in the countryside. They have a very gorgeous house and what they do is that, I mean, they, they buy in bulk. They, you buy a big quantities of stuff, you store it. And I mean, you don't need to go that regularly to the supermarket. Yeah. And even though the, the husband, he, he works, he needs to, to travel every day. I mean, he make a living quite comfortable. And remember, I mean, if you travel, actually the what it takes the longest is to get out of San Salvador. Yes. Because once you are out of San Salvador, I mean, you can go anywhere relatively faster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it depends, I mean, uh, like in my case, man, if I had the chance, actually, uh, we've been thinking of moving to San Salvador, but not because of that, mostly because of my son's university. But afterwards, we're thinking of moving back again. And perhaps uh, we've been thinking about that idea, I mean, look for a house in the countryside and live more peacefully. I mean, I grew up in yeah. San Salvador. I've been living in cities all my life. Man, I'm tired. <laughs> yes, I know, teacher. Yeah, I think that it depends what uh, you want, but yeah. I prefer city. I, I hate the, no, the noise. Really? No, it's right. Yeah. But I think that it's necessary. Just for weekend, mm -hmm. uh, spend time in the city, city care, city, and the countryside. countryside. But, yeah, but in my case, I prefer city. You have a lot of things to close and just need some minutes and move on. And maybe no, you, can take, you can take a, a bus or Uber, but if you are living in the countryside, you, it's, the, it's mandatory that you need a car. But you got a car. Okay, we still got time for listening to some opinions. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, 
Nicholas, tell me, good evening. I don't hear you, my friend. Your microphone doesn't activate. Okay. Good evening, okay. teacher. Good evening. Tell me, Nicholas, what do you prefer? Living in the countryside or living in the city? Well, uh, I prefer living in the, in the, sorry, the first is, a uh, campo is? Countryside. Countryside. I, I prefer countryside uh, because is the, 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 uh, the people, the, the persons, the presence of the person is limited. And I prefer places with, uh, with feel, poca, poca gente. Feel people. Feel people. I prefer places with feel people and for, uh, for no, no uh, has a stressful. Yeah. yeah, I prefer these places for a uh, prepare my mind and uh, before I travel at the city uh, for okay. the world or yes, for the world preferably, a uh, preference prefer and a uh, I prefer the let leave, leave. I prefer leave the the okay, perfect. The Thank you. No. In the countryside. In the countryside. Thank you very Thank much, you. Nicolas. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Now we are going to go to the completely opposite. What about you, Sylvia? Yeah. Hello. Good, what good would you prefer? Good evening. What would you prefer? The city or the um, countryside? Well, you live in the countryside. Yeah, I live in the countryside, but now that sort I sort of am... in a way, sort of in a way, actually. <laughs> yeah, but uh, because I am going to study, I would prefer to live in the city because it's near the the university or the everything is closed so you have access to everything very very fast if i live here i have to travel from here you know it's very long so the the time that i that i would be studying i would prefer in the city but after that i would like to in the countryside come there's yeah come back because here is more uh, quiet no there's no much noise and everything is is okay here no okay. cars no smoke. Yeah, that's true. That's true. The smog is like oh terrible. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome. Let's see, Anna Claudia, what about you? Well, we were uh, discussing in the group with Jose, Wilfredo, and Walter and the three of us, we agreed that it's better to live in the city because everything is closer. For example, if you face an emergency, there is a hospital near to your home or maybe a drugstore, or, or if suddenly you uh, decide you want to cook a special dish and you go to the refrigerator and you don't have the ingredients, you go to the market or to the supermarket, but when you live in the countryside, you need to make a plan or make a schedule uh, where or when to do the activities and multiple things. It is adorable, it's lovely, the countryside, because the earth is clean, a lot of stuff, but it's convenient to live in the city. That is what we were uh, in agreement, <laughs> the three of us. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Let's see, guys. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. 
Now, I got another question for you. One more question for you to discuss, then we are going to go to the manual to check out the conversation that is there, and then we are going to continue in conversations, okay? So the next question for you is the following one, okay? Uh, as you know, we've been talking about where to live. Now, if you live in the city, I mean, you got your neighbors are like next door, right? So the question is related to those situations. What types of disagreements often arise between neighbors? What types of disagreements often arise between neighbors? Okay, guys, I would like you to discuss that, those, I mean, that question, sorry. So please jump in. We will have just five minutes because we need to move along. I think uh, generally the disagreement, more common disagreements and usually uh, rumors or comments uh, fuera del lugar are out of place maybe. Noise even such uh, uh, high volume music and I don't remember the word about parking lots and, and problems with the garbage or the posiciones, como se puede decir? Teacher, how do you say the positions in English? What you Excuse me? What you mean? Oh, 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 I got you, I got you. The position of the perro. <laughs> yeah. Drop, no? Yeah, dogs drops. You can say dogs drops. Oh, because... Or pets or pets drops in your, in the garden, <laughs> your garden. <laughs> oh, yeah, I hate that. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, in, in my... In... The, noisy, the noisy neighbor. Uh, other other type is the I I don't know when when neighbor get out with your pets. Uh, they not I don't know how do you say. Oh, for example, pet. the the cats. Yeah, no, no. En el techo, no sé cómo se dice. A roof. In the roof. Roof okay. is, is techo. But in my case, it's when neighbor get out for your pets and not, how do you say it? I, I don't know, recoger la, sus necesidades. <laughs> um, so it's a problem. It's a big problem for me. 
already. Your neighbors don't use the the bags for. Yeah. The, oops. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. In my case. What about you, Nicolas? Well, I I am happy with my neighbor. Excellent. <laughs> Do you not have neighbors? Well, well, yes, I have. I have neighbors. Well, the, I my problem with my neighbors is 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 regular is is oh well always for um her house. So Don't sometimes there is around four or five kids making a lot of noise. And I think that is a big problem because uh, sometimes uh, you have a, you, uh, you are in a meeting or you need to uh, do in some calls and you need calm. But you can say to to the neighbor, be quiet, right? <laughs> it is complex. <laughs> yes, I think that is complex. In this apartment, I don't have a noise. It's very silent, very, very silent. I don't have this problem. But in my previous house, yes, all the dogs, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> yeah, there's <laughs> the other, other case that I think that is a big problem is, for example, when your uh, some of your neighbors are smoking. Well, in my case, mm. I'm allergic mm. to, to the smell, to the smoking, and just uh, get flu or allergic when I smell that. But one of the one of them uh, doing that in all night so it's, I can't uh, tell something about that just 3 p.m. 3 a.m. for the next day so you can just imagine we couldn't uh, sleep couldn't sleep very well at that time but the, the, our neighbor no longer has the 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 store la tiendita mm -hmm. yes. I guess in my neighborhood I'm the problem because really? I have a lot of <laughs> I have a lot of parties every day or what every week not every day but maybe well twice a, a month ah yeah I guess the All Friday with pay days <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> so you oh, invite they, your colleagues or what you, or, or yeah, other neighbors my friends Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. ah. I invite my friends and we make a grill mm -hmm. and some drinks. So mm -hmm. those are good ones. Mm, what is the, uh, around what time are you uh, finishing the party? I mean, uh, are you finishing the party between 1 or 2 a.m.? or Maybe what? 1 or 2 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes, maybe you are the problem for your for the your <laughs> neighbor. <laughs> yeah. But I like him. Yes, you I enjoy. Know. Yeah. We will be I calling the cam again. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I have a camera on my house to watch. Ah, do you what's have cameras and stuff? Uh, yeah, yeah. To watch oh. gun, what's going on around my house. No, no I can believe you. <laughs> Yeah. It's not so expensive. Uh, no, no. Implementing. You, you only have to invest one time and then you can uh, be secure. But, but my question is, uh, are these cameras connected with the police or? No, no, just, no, no, no. They uh, are just grabbing. Uh, they are just grabbing. Recording. Every moment, recording I'm sorry. Yeah. Every moment. Yeah, Do you review are... them daily or? Yeah. 
Oh my god. Mm. Yeah, I make one daily review. Oh wow. How many cameras do you have? I have like eight. No. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess it's necessary. And just let me check. I have I I have a <laughs> mash car <laughs> mash car y, y, y se enoja que tengamos muchos carros. <laughs> In this. <laughs> you yes. Okay, guys, nice. Let's see. Okay, here we go. We're going to work in page number 36 from your manuals. Okay. Here we got, we got us a conversation. The conversation says Olivia and Leo are brainstorming ideas about branding for Olivia's online business. Read the conversation and take turns practicing. I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start, you could stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed you changed it at least five times last week and fix the spelling in your slogan, designing happiness. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it, but you know, it makes it look original. You mean you never noticed anything. I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Okay, guys, let me get you the picture and then I will repeat one more time for you. There you go. And now I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia. To start, you could stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed you changed it at least five times last week and fixed the spelling in your slogan, designing happiness. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it, but you know, it makes it look original. You mean you never noticed anything. I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Okay, this is quite interesting, guys. Now, because I don't want to, to, to get uh, the groups separated, you are going to practice with the same people, okay? Working with the same persons. So let's get into the groups.
or with me? Well, uh, whatever. Um, okay. You start, start. I, I complete it. Yes, thank you. I am trying to see online business site. Plus with spelling in your slogan, designing happiness, that's not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it, but you know, it, make it makes it or look original. Julie, you never noticed anything. I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Okay. Okay, I start. I'm trying to, I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. Jose? Okay. <laughs> you mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start, you could stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed you change it uh, at least five times last week and fix the spelling in your slogan, designing happiness. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it. But you know, it makes it look original. You mean you never noticed anything? I think you better mm -hmm. hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Okay, yes, sir. Okay, I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. Do mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start, you could start changing the logo of your business. I noticed you changed it at least six times last week and fit the spelling in your slogan, designing happiness. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it. But you know, it make it makes makes it. Me cuesta unir estas palabras. It makes makes it origin look original. Do you mean you never notice anything? I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Okay. We are trying to set an online business selling. Um,
Okay, guys, before we move on, let me get the attendance. Second time, sorry, my bad. Uh, Amarilia Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velasquez. Present, teacher. Claudia Lizeth Ramos Barrinos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segura Valencia. Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present, teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez. Present teacher. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Se engruye en el lado de los pies. Present. Mm. Present, teacher. Thank you, Silvia. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present, teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present, teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. And Shanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who's gonna start? Nicholas and Sylvia, you guys are going to start. So Sylvia, you are Olivia and Nicholas is Leo. Okay, I am going to start. Yep. I am trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia. You start your call, stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed, noticed you changed it at least five times last week and fixed this feeling in your slogan, designing happiness. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it, but you know, it, make, it makes it look original. You mean, you never noticed, noticed, noticed anything. I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. You mean, you mean. Thank you, Sylvia. You mean. Thank you, Nicholas. Okay. Teacher. Now, let's see. Uh, uh, Ambar and Roxana, please. Ambar, you'll start. Okay, one moment, please. I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia. To start, you could stop changing it, changing the logo of the of your business. Sorry. I noticed that you changed it at least five times last week. And fix the spelling in your slogan, designing happiness. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made made it, but you know it make make it look original. You mean you never noticed noticed anything? I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help help you with the business. Okay. Thank you. Very well done, guys. Ana Claudia and Marta. Ana Claudia, you start, please. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you know you don't know anything, Olivia? To start, you could stop changing the law of your business. I noticed that you change it 
are last five times last week. And fix the spelling in your slogan. Design happiness. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it. But you know, it makes it look original. You mean you never noticed anything? I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Okay, perfect, thank you. Susanna and William. Susanna, go start. I think to set online business selling had made dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start your call, start changing to logo on your business. I noticed you changed it at least five times last week and fix the spelling in your slogan. Designing happiness, that's not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it, but you know it makes it look original. You mean okay. you never notice anything? I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Business, thank you very much. Walter and Jose Wilfredo. Jose Wilfredo, you start. Okay, just let me for decision. Okay, I got it. I'm trying to set an online business selling and made dresses, but I don't know. I know I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you are you mean you do know anything, Olivia? To start you call a store that changed the law of your business. I noticed you changed it at the last five times last week. And fix the spelling, spelling. In your slogan, designing happiness, that's not correct. I never noticed nothing about the spelling mistake when I make, but you know, it makes it look original. You are mean, you are never noticed anything. I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia, and they will help you with the business. Okay, thank you. Maria Alejandra and Rosario. Maria Alejandra, you will start. Teacher, sorry. No problem. Uh, I'm trying to set an online business selling. Present, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start, you could stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed that you changed it at least five times last week and fix the spelling in your slogan, designing happiness. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistakes when I made it, but you know it makes it look original. You mean you never noticed anything? I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Thank you very much, guys. Handmade, Maria Alejandra. Okay. Okay, thank you. And let's see who's gonna be next. Fernando and Claudia. Claudia, you'll start. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses. I don't, I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. 
You mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start, you could start changing the logo of your business. I noticed that you changed it at least five times last week and fix the spelling in your slogan, designing happiness. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it. But you know, it make it look original. You mean you never noticed anything? I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Okay, perfect, thank you. Now guys, please uh, read it again and while I read it for you, okay? I am trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start, you could stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed that you changed it at least five times last week and fix the spelling in your slogan, designing happiness. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it, but you know, it makes it look original. You mean you never noticed anything? I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Okay, guys, tomorrow we are going to be working with the double negation, okay? That's a grammar point that we are going to explain tomorrow. And actually I have mentioned it a couple of times for you, but tomorrow we are going to see it slowly. Right now, I would like you to keep on practicing on having conversations, but please, I give you the questions so you can ask an answer, remember, okay? Okay, now. Okay, okay, okay. I got a question for you. This is funny. Okay. Now we're going to talk about money. Okay. And the question for you guys is this one. If you were rich, what would you change about your life? If you were rich, what would you change about your life? Okay, think about it. You will have three minutes. This is a short question, okay? So then we come back and I'll ask some of you about it and then I will send you back so I can, you can practice more, okay? Hurry up, just two minutes.
<laughs> oh, you have a yes. business right now? Yes, yes, my company, yes. I sell uh, to the lotion, the, the clothing, and cheers, and, and how many things, how many things? Cheers. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. Pantalón, ¿cómo se dice? Pants. Pants. Ah, okay. Pants. A uh, um, a lotion and the product level. A uh, lotion. Uh, but my first uh, propose is generate generate a business. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the same as you. Uh, I will also invest in, in some business and I will like buy, buy the, the car of my dreams. Okay. What is, mm -hmm. your, what is your dreams car? <laughs> what is the, mm -hmm. the, the car of your dreams? Uh, uh, BMW. <laughs> okay. okay. I, I, yeah, I would like to buy a, a, a good car, but I like it Tesla. Uh, electric car, hybrid car. Yes, mm -hmm. but in this, in this country, it's not possible. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe... Uh, I will pull um, a big and beautiful house. That would be a perfect life. <laughs> no work, no stress, no yeah. studies, and anything. I have, I have, I I have uh, my 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 self. Self, self, my yeah. propio self, business. Self. My own no. business. No, my propio gimnasio, my propio gym. Italy. <laughs> Baby. Yeah, because. Uh, I think that our country is very dangerous and maybe we have um, a lot of money. Maybe we can move another save. <laughs> maybe, um, I don't know, uh, traveling around the world or um, get a... Um, I don't know, as another uh, career? Uh, what career, for example? Uh, I don't know. Sé. Una cosa mejor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I think that in my case, I study um, a career for work. But in the other country, maybe if I in add money. In another country. In another country, if we have money, maybe just uh, study a career for hobby, I don't know. And just um, put in practice in your own, own business. I don't know. I think. I prefer to live in Spain and studying other career and maybe maybe English. Yes, you 
Maybe English or business. Hello? Business administration. Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's see, let's see. Uh, hmm, who's gonna be? Ambar, tell me, Ambar. My answer is simple. If okay. I was rich, I, I will leave the country. Okay, just a little correction, my dear. Yes. If I were rich, okay. In this case, okay. because we are talking about uh, uh, something that is not real, it's contrary to fact. So if, um, if I were. Okay, if I were rich. Thank perfect. you for Thank correction. You no, 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 thanks to you. Let's see, let's see. Maria Alejandra, what about you? What do you think? Hi, teacher. Um, I think if I would reach, I if I were if I were sorry um I don't know I spend my money <laughs> in in different house in the different part of the world or in the different country I I think that I like to make my company or my owner business and um, own or my own business how my, my own business my, ha, i'm my i'm my own business because if you have a money and you have an idea you don't worry when if you don't have you, if you don't have the money to start a business <laughs> and i don't know if i try and, and i think that only that. Um, I spend the money. I don't know. I like the houses, a big house, or okay. the cars. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, guys. Let's see. Let's see. Now, I just heard two girls. Let's hear, guys. Let's see. Let's see. Um, Fernando, tell me. Uh, if you were rich, what would you change about your life? Oh, if I were rich, I'd change my complete lifestyle. <laughs> so I don't work, I pay my debt, I help my family, and I travel a lot. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, now I got another question for you guys. What's the best way to invest in your future? Okay, what's the best way to invest in your future? Again, you go back to the rooms. Let's hurry up for minutes for this activity.
good opportunity. It's a good opportunity for future and a good fine, a good salary, a good life. I think so. Mm -hmm. To be prepared for in for the future. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Don't you have the age? <laughs> excuse me, teacher. Excuse me. I'm sorry for the comments. It's okay. <laughs> Don't you have the age? age? No, we are not. <laughs> Walter is. How old are you, Walter? <laughs> excuse me? How old are you? Uh, 28. You see, what about you, Jose? I'm 34. And, uh, I don't remember the age for men for this year to get your 25. I don't remember if it would be the 25%. One thing I remember that. I guess that is for 45. Yeah, um, 44, somewhere around. For men? Yeah. But I don't remember it from 2022. And above, so forward, I don't know how to say this. Después del 2022, after 20, 2022, uh, there won't be like a limit. Limit, uh huh. Once you worked around 10 years, I guess is the rule, and always uh, making your payments to the AFP. Uh, you will be able to get your percentage. What I don't remember if always will be 25% or will be less, but it's uh, good when you can uh, get uh, it. But, but now it's not possible for us. Uh -huh, yeah, for men. I remember that for, for women is a different age. It's less the, the one required for men. Oh, yeah, sure. But no, for us guys, it's not possible. <laughs> <laughs> but that will be good. Yeah, okay, sure, but you have to make a lot of exercise to reach that age. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, my friend, this year was 50 years. 2022 oh, really? is 46. Oh, 2000. Uh, you are looking the the AFP policy. Yep. And ah. 2023 is going to be for men 42. For mm -hmm. ladies is going to be any age. Ah, that is what I saw. Any age. And yeah, when men will have the opportunity to uh, 2024. Get 2024. Wow. Well, you need to wait just for two years, my classmates. <laughs> mm. Yeah, but I mean. In always, can you retire the 25 percentage now that you are on the IFP page? Yeah, well, actually, I just closed it. Yeah, but it's the 25 percent. So it's not going to be much. <laughs> but you can invest it. Let's see. And you can make a double or triple. You can earn. Yeah. If I invest it, yeah. Yeah. yeah and you okay. saw. I, you, know what's the, you know what's the funny thing about it, Jose Wilfredo? It's just that I've been paying, uh, I've been paying for, for retirement for, let's see, now more than 20 years. Uh -huh. More than 20 years, okay. Yeah. I started paying for the retirement when I was 17. Wow, you oh. start working so young. Yep. Yeah. And I'm still not eligible for retirement. And won't be until 20 more years, almost. Oh, <laughs> yes. 
we need to make, I think that we need to make a part, we need to have a saving account just for the future. I know it's hard, but it's possible. It doesn't matter if you just make it for $5 a month, $10 a month, but you don't touch it for anything in your life. That will be your future. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If I make it that age, you know. <laughs> for that reason, Jose Wipre was telling us that the most important for him is to make exercise. And he's right, because you can get health. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, sure. I exercise. I exercise almost every day. The, my problem in my case is my health. My stomach is killing me. Uh, mm. I got a chronic gastritis. Since I was since I was seven years old. Wow. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. So it may be a lot of fast food. No, really. Just a weak stomach. Oh. <laughs> Just a weak stomach. <laughs> as simple as that. A weak stomach. And wow, that is something years now. Yes. And I guess that you're investing in uh, a really expensive treatment. Well, the problem is that it's chronic. I mean, there's yeah. not, uh, I mean, my, you don't need my... the spicy. Oh, yeah, sure. I eat spicy food as many as I can. I eat hot pepper, <laughs> man. If I'm going to die, I'm going to die happy. My goodness. <laughs> As simple as that. I invested in insurance for my family, so no problem. Yeah, yeah, that's really that's really good. And you invest yeah. in insurance. Yeah, I mean, I got, I got. Let's see, one, two, three policies. So, mm, that's nice. So that's I can be. So I don't have to worry that much. Mm -hmm. You're a good planning teacher. Yeah, you don't have to yeah yeah and the good thing is that my son is like uh he's 19 years old he's in his second year at the university mm -hmm. so pretty soon i'm going to be like calm satisfied yeah so i don't okay. worry about that future that much i don't think i will make it so who cares <laughs> see you in the main room Okay, guys, very nice. I was talking with some of you in the groups. It was quite interesting. Tomorrow, we are going to do something like this, but we are going to make it a little bit different because we are going to have part of the discussion here together, okay? Tomorrow, I will be like giving a question to one of you and I will ask you to ask it to two or three of your classmates, okay? So tomorrow the activity is going to be different. You are going to have the conversation, but here together, all of us. It's going to be interesting. Don't worry, don't worry. I have it like prepared for you. So we are going to practice more. Hey guys, thank you very much. Let me just get the final attendance. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Claudia Lizard Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Sagueda Valencia. Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present. Thank you both of you guys. Thank you. José Wilfredo Ayala Soto. Present teacher. 
Lucero Abigail Rubínez López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez. Present. Nicolás, please tell me your second, uh, both your, uh, uh, your full name, please. We are Nicolás Atilio Méndez. And your mother's name? Su último apellido, Nicolás. Granados. Granados, thank you. Thank you. Roxana okay. Ibeda Asensio de Mejía. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Present teacher. Thank you, Susana. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. And Shanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Thank you guys. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Rest. Good night. Bye bye. Good teacher. Good, good night. night. Bye. A pleasure. A pleasure. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Salita la piscina. Good night, Alfredo. Alfredo. <laughs> Hi, teacher. I just arrived at the phone. Yeah, I know. I'm Don't so worry. sorry, Don't teacher. Don't but worry about my, it. My, my children, my middle, and my, my youngest kids, uh, today they have, they, they went to, wait, they, they have a presentation. They, they had to sing in a choir. Oh, oh at the How do you say in English? Yeah. At the choir. Choir. At the cho choir. Yes, and they start to sing at around seven and thirty, but never, never start. But I, I need to, I need to be there. Yeah, no, I understand it. Every day. It's, it's always simple. But I was, I don't worry. I was here. That's yes, cool. Yes, that's teacher. cool. And tomorrow yes, we're going to this have week, a teacher. It, it is. It is Yes, I, I, crazy. I, I were, I were talking about that old classmate, but really, really, teacher, this week for me it is hard. It is, uh, it was very, very, very hard and busy because we need to close many, many reports. Monday we had to pay bonus, and uh, Monday and Tuesday we had to do um, evaluate about you need the correction today many activity tomorrow we have to give a chicken for all the people oh cool uh, yes but and friday we have to sing all around we are going to start at 11 a.m and we are going to finish around 2 2 p.m during during uh, during the lunch 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 time yes lunch lunch time but the, the, this week always always is very hard but we need to we need to make the, the last the last el último impulso the last push but the last push ah, ah, yes 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 and teacher huh? but I'm so sorry, but I, I can to be don't worry, uh, don't pay worry. attention. In I classes. couldn't be. Okay. I couldn't be. Okay. Yeah, but uh, tomorrow, teacher. I hope so that. Yeah, sure, sure. I'll be waiting for okay. you, my friend. Have a good night. Yes, and thank you, thank you to you, teacher, for um oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. for understanding me. Okay, thank you. Never See mind. you tomorrow. See you. Take care. See you, teacher. Thank you. Bye.